we got a, a lot of young guys in the program that we think are very talented, but really haven't had to play a lot. You know, our, our quarterback battle right now is 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 up in the air between three three guys really. Noah Mitchell is a, a young man that came to us from Milford Prep School. Uh, Brian also Brooks has been in the program a year, and Eric Taylor has been in the program two years. So those three guys were eager to get working with them on campus. You know, offensively, Jordan Dandridge is, is a guy that we're going to rely on at the wide receiver position. Uh, Jalen Bell is a young man at running back that, that's coming back after playing for us for two years. Uh, up front, we have a, a number of, of veterans, but we have some new guys too. So I think offensively, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this group comes together. That's what training camp's all about. Uh, defensively, we're a little more upperclassmen oriented on, on that side of the ball. Our secondary, we feel really good about, you know, kind of led by Lamont McFadder uh, at the safety position. You got Aaron Brown uh, in, in the defensive backfield. You got Brendan Edwards. Uh, you got Jimmy Pierce, who's coming off a, a knee injury that, that we feel really good about. Uh, Malik Wilson, a guy that's been in our program for two years, has stepped up and had a great spring. Uh, we graduated four linebackers last year, but we have some veterans to, to take their place. You've got um, Breon Coke, who's a guy that was, was in our program last year, and we were able to redshirt. You've got Bre uh, Brendan Blair, who's, who's been around for a long time and played a lot of football for us, so we're excited for him to take that next step in his career. Julian Cox is a young man that transferred in from the University of Albany that had a great spring with us, and we're excited about him. So, you know, even though we've graduated four linebackers, we feel that, that we have some older guys and some really, really talented guys, that, that that could be one of our strengths. And then defensively, it all starts with Malik Akins for us up front. He's a, you know, a two-time all-conference guy at the nose tackle position. He, he does everything well. He's our team leader on defense. So we're obviously excited to get him back. You know, it's amazing when you start to, during the summer, prepare for teams and, and you're looking at, at our schedule and the grind that we have this year. The PSAC West is, is as good a conference as anybody, extremely well coached. You know, the coaching staffs in, in the league do a great job recruiting. Uh, so it's going to be tough. You know, IUP had a great run last year. and, and you know, know where they were. We were there two years ago, and you know the, they've got a lot of guys coming back. Slippery Rock again has got a lot of guys coming back, and they took a lot of transfers this year. Um, Mercyhurst is going to be a lot better. Gannon has one of the premier backs in the country, and 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 they they've got a lot of guys coming back. Clarion's going to be an upperclassman. Uh, dominated team. Uh, Edinburgh has had two great years in a, in a row, and, and they've got a lot of guys coming back. So it's going to be a grind every week. You know, anytime you play in the PSCC West, you, you better be ready to play every week, or you know, you, you, you're not going to do well, whether it's at home or on the road. You got to be ready to go each and every week because there's no breathers on our schedule.